this is Hawk News. With your very own Hawk News team. For a country not a student, strive to be leaders. And, and now, now the news. Good morning. Welcome to Fair <laughs> Tuesday. Friday is the carnival. Get your costume. You should be Batwoman, Bobby. I'm a boy. No, you're a girl. Snap I'm a boy. boy. You the Mad Ants Get Fit Challenge has started, so fill out that paper. You should get fit, Bob. But I can barely pick up wrappers. We interviewed Crystal, Crystal the Chicken. She's on my head! Get it off! Crystal, what are you doing? Why, I'm leaping, can't you tell? Why are you leaping? Well, I practiced in leaping because I heard you're the Country Meadow Leapers. No, we're the Country Meadow Leaders. Oh, well, that's different. What's the Country Meadow Leaders mean? Well, here we practice the seven habits. The seven habits? Oh, my mom says I have a bad habit of picking at my feathers. So is that what you mean? No, there's good habits, too. Really good habits? Well, tell me about a good habit. Well, this month, we're practicing habit number two, beginning with the end in mind. Have a plan. Oh, well, I hope you're not planning to have chicken for dinner, because that might be the end of me. Meow. Today is a high of 71 and a low of 51. Woo! Woo-hoo! Today for lunch is cheese toast. With tomato soup, mixed vegetables, and chilled fruit. And don't forget that cold, tasty box of milk. Pizza milk! You. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Did you know? Over 100 years ago, kids in America would play pranks on people by tipping over outside restrooms, because that's how it was back then. Um, or opening farmer's gates or egging houses. Each year, pranks got more and more serious until town leaders began to encourage kids to dress up and ask for candy instead of pranking. That sounds yummy. Pranking. Students, watch your back. We got back. We're going to interview kids on what they're going to be for Halloween. Sounds spooky. I'm going to be a cat disco with a bear. Hi, Jaden. What are you going to be for Halloween? The Joker. Hi, Lene. What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know yet. Hi, Hannah. What are you going to be for Halloween? A vampire. Thanks for your time. Hi, Johnny. What are you going to be for Halloween? A dinosaur. Thank you. Teachers, we got our eyes on you. Did you know that when Mrs. Clark was younger, on the week that Halloween was in, her and her friends went trick-or-treating all week long? Hi, Mrs. Clark. Is it true that you went trick-or-treating every day the week of Halloween? Actually, it is true. Um, we used to go out Monday through Friday, and we would take a pillowcase, and every night we would trick-or-treat, and we'd have to be home by 9 o'clock. Um, but then I would dump my candy into a paper bag, and by the end of the week, the paper bag would be filled with candy. And is it true that you wore no costume? Actually, we did wear costumes. We would go up into the attic and just rummage through old clothes. And I remember one of the favorite things to do was to take my mom's hose, which are like pantyhose, and pull it down over your face. And so it would distort your face real, you know, it would be really fun. And then you could see. And then we would take the end of the pantyhose and we tied in knot so it looked like you had a long ponytail. That was really fun. So your costume was pantyhose over your face? <laughs> That's one of the costumes. I mean, we used to dress up like anything we could find in the attic. Thank you. There you have it, Country Meadow. This, this is Hawk News.